I can post it in my previous video about DYD, so everything's still in play. For middle term, we get a signal to sell here in April. Here's a support and can lay down to minus 0.61 level by fee, around $1. Bounce once again to call liquidity, and now we're trading this accumulation zone since uh, May. Middle term, it's five dollar, five dollar eleven or zero point six one low by FIP is five dollar fifty four. It's middle term for the YDX. So if you don't like this project, you can fill your bags here and cash out here and forget about it. But I will uh, hold this coin till minimal, minimal thirty, fifty, and one hundred. Maybe they will push this coin the same like so over in 100. On local picture, what do we got? We got signal to sell at uh, November 4 and signal to sell confirm it at November 6. We capitulate, take profit and too strong signal to buy. So we make a reversal move and what do we got now? On four hour time frame, this FIP still in play. We got a uh, here bottom $1.33 and pump to $2.20 with this FIP. Take profit if you trade on 4-hour time frame was at uh, here, uh, candle close at $2. Take profit. Now we got a strong signal to sell on 4-hour time frame and we tested 0.5 level by FIP. Basically, I can expect because uh, when S&P 500 uh, usually a close positive, uh, positively close the Friday candle, the Bitcoin uh, Saturday we can correct, make a correction and uh, by end of Sunday, Bitcoin will follow the S&P 500 move. So for Bitcoin, I think we can see around one, uh, 18, 18 and 500 once again. So for DYDX, it can be the move to $1, around $2, 30, uh, 0.23 level by FIP and drop it down to these levels, 61 and 70. In this case, you can try and open long position, stop loss, 